Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what the associative property of addition is. Now, the associative property of addition can be used all throughout math. Everything from basic addition problems to more complex problems to simplifying algebraic expressions to whatever else the case may be. The associative property of addition is important to be familiar with. When it comes to the associative property of addition, think grouping. This property states that changing the grouping of addends doesn't change the sum. Addends are the numbers being added, and then the sum is the answer to an addition problem. So A plus B grouped plus C will equal the same exact thing as A plus B plus C grouped. Now don't let those letters confuse you. They are there to represent numbers and show that this will work for any numbers. Let's jump into our example and see exactly what this means. We have 19 plus 17 plus three. Let's start by grouping 19 and 17 and work through this. So 19 plus 17 grouped plus three. Now we can add, starting with the parentheses. We have 19 plus 17. That equals 36. Bring down the addition sign and the three. We end with 36 plus three, which equals 39. Now let's group 17 and three and see if we get the same thing. So 19, plus 17 plus three grouped. Now we can add, starting with the parentheses. 17 plus three, that equals 20. Bring down the addition sign and the 19. We end with 19 plus 20, which equals 39. So we get 39 that way as well. And that's the associative property. It didn't matter how we grouped the addends. We got the same sum either way, the same answer either way. So 19 plus 17 grouped plus three equals 19 plus 17 plus three grouped. And again, that's the associative property and specifically the associative property of addition. Changing the grouping of addends doesn't change the sum. So there you have it. There's an explanation of the associative property of addition. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.